Hello friends, welcome to the breaking news channel, in this video I would like to send you the following content. UFC Vegas 32, Sandigan vs The Lashaw. UFC Fight Night Results, Michelle Tate returns after nearly 5 years of retirement with Marion Rennell's TKO. UFC Vegas 32 airs live from UFC Apex in Las Vegas, NV on Saturday July 24, which makes it Sunday July 25 in Australia. The main event is a 5-round bantamweight bout between Corey Sandigan and DJ Delashaw. Corey Sandigan, 14-2, is riding the two-win streak. In his previous bout in February he knocked out Frankie Edgar in 28 seconds with flying knee. Before that he TKO'd Marlon Moers in round 2. Former two-time UFC bantamweight champion TJ Delashaw, 16-4, is back in action for the first time since January 2019, when he was stopped by former flyweight champion Henry Sejudo in the first round. Prior to that he won four bouts in a row, including a pair of stoppages against Cody Garbrandt and two wins by unanimous decision against John Lineker and Rafael Asuncao. The co-main event is a three-round women's bantamweight battle between Aspen Ladd and Macy Johnson. Ladd, 9-1, last fought in December 2019, when she TKO'd Yannick Unitskaya in the third round to rebound from the defeat suffered against Jermaine Durandami earlier the same year. Chiasen, 7-1, won two of her previous bouts by unanimous decision against Marion Renault and Shanna Young. The full UFC Vegas 32 fight card can be found below. MMA fans in the United States can watch UFC Vegas 32, Sandigan vs. The Lash Olive stream on ESPN+. In Australia the fight card is available on UFC Fight Pass and ESPN on KO. UFC Vegas 32 Fight Card Main Card Corey Sandigan vs. DJ Delashaw Aspen La vs. Macy Johnson Carla Phillips vs. Rollian Pava Darren Elkins vs. Derek Minner Miranda Maverick vs. Macy Barber Mickey Gall vs. Jordan Williams Preliminary Card Pune Hal Soriano vs. Brendan Allen. Shamal Abdurakimov vs. Chris Dokos. Nas Sordine Imava vs. Ian Heinish. Randy Costa vs. Adrian Yanis. Julio Ars vs. Andre Ewell. Sainjara Eubanks vs. Elise Reed. Diana Belbita vs. Hannah Goldie. Tate was dominant with a wrestling-based attack to score her first win since March 2016. The co-main event of UFC Fight Night on Saturday was one of the most unusual crossroads fights in UFC history, with 34-year-old Michelle Tate ending a nearly five-year retirement as she faced 44-year-old Marion Renault, who announced prior to the fight that it would be the final bout of her career. It was Tate who got the storybook moment scoring a third-round TKO as she restarted her octagon career with the bang. Tate started slow in the opening round before mixing up some strikes and finally putting her grappling to work, ending the round in top position after a takedown. It was the first flash of the old version of Tate, a fighter who once carried the nickname Takedown. Renault attempted to make the adjustment at the start of the second round connecting with some heavy strikes in an attempt to keep Tate at range. Tate's grappling continued to be the story of the fight, however, scoring another big takedown and using a steady flow of ground and pound to draw a stream of blood from the Renault's nose. The takedown came again for Tate in round 3, and this time she didn't let Renault survive the ground attack. After putting Renault on her back, Tate advanced position until she'd taken the back. From there, Tate dropped heavy shots until the referee was forced to call a halt to the action, awarding Tate her first win since she won the UFC bantamweight title from Holly Holm in March 2016. I'm so happy, Tate said after her victory.
This has been a lot of hard work and a lot of self-discovery in the process but I'm here and I'm back. Tate may be most famous for her rivalry with Ronda Rousey. While she was never able to get the win against Rousey when Rousey was at the peak of her powers, Tate did eventually get a run with the 135-pound title. Having made her successful comeback, Tate said her focus remains on getting back to the championship. With all due respect, I'm not here just for a fight. I'm here for a belt, Tate said. Renault ends her fighting career on a five-fight losing skid, but still made her mark as someone who began her professional career much later in life than most. I'm glad I went out the way I did, Renault said. I'm glad I was allowed to fight my last fight in the cage and to fight a phantom. Believe it or not, I'm a fan. I've never stopped being a fan of hers. I did give it all I had and that's it. That's what's left for me, so I'm saying goodbye. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.